All right, good afternoon, class. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, good. I'm also fine. Sit down. All right. So, we are going to begin a new topic today. But curiously, let's remind ourselves of some of the, what we learned that was last time. All right, so last time we discussed a factor. And we said that um, factors, they are numbers. Two numbers that we multiply to get another number. So let's look at that. So with that, we said that let's say, assume if you are finding, we learned how to find factors of numbers. Let's find factors of four. Mean that we are looking at the difference, we are looking at two numbers, then multiply, gives us four. So one multiplied by one number gives us four. Seven. Good. One multiplied by four gives us four. Two. One multiplied by one number gives us four. Two, two, four. Any other? Good. 4 multiplied by 1 is also, is also equal to 4. So meaning that factors of 4, meaning that factors of 4 is written as 1, 2, and 4 itself. Good. That was what we learned last time. Good. So today, as I said, we are going to begin a new topic and we are going to talk about Highest common factor. So highest common factors. Yeah, or highest common factor. So we said that before we begin a lesson, let's look at our objectives. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to. So let's look at our objectives. So we should be able to identify two. One, we have to identify a common factor factor of numbers. Two, we also have to be able to identify. The highest common factor of numbers. So these are our objectives. All right. So we are going to look at the highest common factor of six and twelve. All right. So as we started, let's look at the factors of six. The factors of, of six are one one by one by six. One times six. It's got to six. Yes, John. Two times three. It's also equal to six. Any other? Three times two equal to six. Yes. What else? Uh huh. Any other? Four. No. Six. Six times one is also equal to six. So means that the factors of six are we have one, two, three, and six itself. So, so let's also look at. Factors of 12. 12, two numbers. Uh -huh. 1 times 12 is equal to 12. 2 times 6 is also equal to 12. Any other? 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. Yes, what else? 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Any other? 2. Any other? 6 multiplied by 2 is also equal to 12. Yes, and 12 multiplied by 1 is also equal to 12. Meaning that with the factors of 12, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 itself. So we are going to do that. Compare the numbers. 
Factors of six we had one, two, three, and six. Out of twelve we had one, uh -huh. one, two, three, four, six, and twelve. So let's look at our common factors as our first objective. So which of them are common? The numbers that are common are one, two, three, and six. So meaning that our highest common factor among the factors, which one is the highest? Yes, John. Six. Good. So six. Meaning that six is the highest common factor. So that is our lesson for the day. Thank you.